take care of paying for them. That's a whole lot of expertise on your side, all for making one call to CarShield. But darlings, you gotta make that call before your car breaks down. I've been a CarShield customer for close to seven years, had three vehicles covered, and they saved me close to $9,000. When you call CarShield, you get their price lock guarantee, which means that the price you pay today will never change for as long as you cover your vehicle. What you'll also love is that plans through CarShield give you 24-7 coast-to-coast roadside assistance at no additional cost. Because darlings, CarShield is an expert at customer care too. CarShield saved me $2,200. In one year, I saved $2,500. That's amazing. If it wasn't for Car Shield, I wouldn't have my car. Car Shield has made me an expert at saving money on expensive car repairs. Trust me, you need to pick up that phone right now and call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Get protection now against expensive auto repair bills. Call Car Shield for a free protection plan quote. Call 800 778 5307. This is a Fox 56 News breaking weather alert with your weather authority chief meteorologist Mike Susco. Good afternoon, everybody. Chief meteorologist Mike Susco again. We are returning back to tornado coverage as more warnings have been issued. This one is now in light coming in Sullivan County. This is still the same warning we were issuing or uh, talking about earlier, but they also issued a tornado warning up here in Bradford County. So let's take another look here at what we got going on. Uh, with this system and by the way those are where we're seeing the storms right now right here in uh, parts of sullivan and bradford county as well as northern uh parts of lycoming so we'll take this and we're going to zoom in here this is where the warning is it continues until 3 45. the one in bradford county which does not include tawanda goes until four o'clock so we have the warning here that goes for in Lycoming and Sullivan. If you're in those areas, that goes till 345. If you're in Bradford County, it goes till four o'clock. This does include the McNett area, a McIntyre or McIntyre area, as well as uh, Shunk, uh, Hoagland Vista, Eldersville as well, Cascade. Uh, and there, it looks like they are issuing a severe thunderstorm warning as well for parts of Snyder County and Union County. We'll get to that in a second, but here's a look at what we got with the uh, tornado warning. Again, this is in Lycoming and Sullivan County in the McIntyre area. Uh, this does not include the Laporte or Cherry Davidson in Laporte or Sullivan County. This is in the far northwestern part of Sullivan County and west of Forksville and northwest uh, there of Hills Grove. In uh, Bradford County, Le uh, Leroy area as well as uh, Long Valley and Gray Granville Center, you want to be taking your tornado precautions. East Canton area, as well as Kellogg, New Albany, Overton, uh, Franklindale, you want to be taking those tornado precautions. Again, this goes until 4 o'clock in Bradford County. That does not include Tawanda. Let's go back to the warning here that was originally issued real quick. This is in Lycoming. That will go for another seven minutes or so. Uh, Kogan House, it looks like you are starting to come out of it, so you are good to go in the Kogan House area. This is the severe thunderstorm warning that is issued in Snyder and Union County that goes to 345 p.m. and it is also with the tornado possible tag. There's not enough evidence on radar yet for the, the tornado possible or for the tornado warnings. That's why you're seeing the difference there right now. So we're continuing to watch these storms here across the area and we're going to be seeing more warnings most likely as we go through the next uh, couple of hours. So we're going to be turning this on here so I can control it for you. But this is the storms as well. Paxtonville, Hartley, West Beaver, uh, Sealands Grove, Lewisburg. You have that tornado possible tag until 345 for you. And then here is a look at what we got going on a little bit farther north because this is where we have uh, the tornado warnings at the moment. So that is in Lycoming County as well as Sullivan County and Bradford County right there. And then we're just going to turn this off real quick, Emily. There we go. And then we can kind of do a little bit of analysis with what we got going on. So let's take a look here at what we got with the velocity. So this is the rotation in the storm. We we're looking for the rotation here, just kind of seeing, all right, is it broad? Is it tight? You, for tornado warnings, you're looking for tight rotation. You can see it right here. That's now part it, moving into Sullivan County. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit right here north of McIntyre there, but that looks like it's starting to move out of the Lycoming County area. Now we're starting to focus on the one here in far northwestern Sullivan County. So let's zoom in here a little bit for you. 
get an idea of what we got going on. So if you're in the Shunk area, you want to be taking your tornado precautions. Wheel of Hill there as well, although this is passing just a little bit farther to your south along Highway 154. If you know anybody in this area, they need to be going to the lowest level, most interior room available to them. If they're driving, they need to uh, stop and go into uh, a business, just wait out the storm until this passes here right now because this is tornado warning does continue into Bradford County as well so th that's Long Valley area Leroy New Albany you're coming into your town your area here as well though this is the path of the storm is with my hand you can see it looks like it's going right in between uh, those two areas here into parts of southern Bradford County very shortly that goes until four o'clock for you Sullivan County you go until 345 and at that point uh, we'll see if anything kind of moves out of the way here with that Here's a look at the reflectivity, and you can see how these storms are really kind of having a little bit of a hook. That's what we're looking for here is that hook right now, and this is where you're going to be watching that storm again. It's about to cross Highway 154 there in Sullivan County. McIntyre, the heaviest of the rain, the worst of the weather is just to your north there. Looks like it's about to cross uh, the border there to the north and McNett as well. So it looks like that storm for you guys is okay. We're now focusing on the one in Sullivan County where we're seeing this rotation. So let's again put back on that velocity, which is the red going away from the radar, the green's going towards. So this is the rotation that you're seeing on Highway 154. I'll zoom in a little bit, see if we can get a, maybe a little bit more places to pop up here for you. Maple Summit, uh, this is gonna be just to your south. So this is the rotation right here that we are watching. Uh, looks like it's gonna be going over a pretty rural area at the moment, which is uh, definitely better news than compared to if it was a more populated area. So let's zoom out. I'm also gonna put a track here on for you so that way you can see exactly what the storm is doing. But you can see some of the places popping up here that need to be watching out. Wheelerville, uh, Quinlan Town there, Laqueen there, Long Valley, East Canton area. You wanna be making sure you're uh, paying attention because your phones went off, you have the tornado warning now in play. This is around 30 miles per hour, so we're gonna pull this out and to give you an idea here on the path of this storm. So Franklin Dale, 407, Long Valley around 358, and then Laqueen there around 346 for you, K Kellogg around 416, if this was to hold together, and then Marshview right around 430. Again, if this holds together, it could end up dissipating. It may also recycle. We call this cycling of the storm, where they drop and then they come back. That can happen in this situation. So they may even drop some warnings and then very quickly reissue them in these situations today. This is a very active day for our area. So we continue to watch these storms as they continue moving through. We also have this one out here just to the north of McIntyre. Let's throw a track on that for you real quick. This one also going around 30 miles per hour. If that one continues and holds itself together, then you can see the towns popping up there as well. So Grover around 338. Uh, East Canton around 348, West Leroy there around 352, uh, Leroy itself around 356, uh, six, right up before 4 o'clock, and West Burlington around 5 after 4. Keep in mind it could change by 5 or 10 minutes or so, but to give you an idea, Tawanda, if this heads towards you and holds together, you're looking around 420, 430 or so as these storms continue. But we are dealing with those Three tornado warnings at the moment here. So we got, again, the one in Bradford County, you're until four. Dillon Lock, Sullivan County is until 345. And then Lycoming County, uh, you're actually, what part of you will drop off here in a minute. And then the re rest of you will go until 345 as well. All right, let's take a look here at the reflectivity for this area. Again, one more time, just to give you all an idea of where these storms are heading. They're heading to the northeast. So Tawanda, New Albany, you're about to get the heavy rain at the very least, but these are heading in your direction. Hills Grove, these are to your north there, but it is clipping parts of Sullivan County with these storms as they continue uh, through the area. And Emily, we just got an update you said? So, all right, so they're also seeing a lot of rain with these storms. A flood advisory was just issued for parts of uh, Lycoming County, you said, correct? Yeah, Sullivan. And Sullivan County. So let's actually take a look at that real quick because not only do we have the tornado and the severe thunderstorm threat, we also are seeing the flooding threat here. So a flood advisory is in effect here for parts of Lycoming and Sullivan County because of the heavy rain. That means that the creeks are starting to swell a little bit. Not necessarily seeing significant flooding, but you want to be paying attention in those areas. And keep in mind, if you do encounter any flooded roadways, you want to be uh, going a different direction. Turn around, don't drown. You hear us say that all the time. We're going to take a look here at some of the other storms that we got going on because we are still watching down here in Snyder and Union County. 
here. This storm that's had a history of producing a little bit of severe weather here. The still now moving through uh, the Snyder and Union County areas heading towards Lewisburg and Sealands Grove. That has the tornado possible tag on it. Again, tornado possible tag means that there's some rotation, but not enough for them to issue the tornado warning. It's more of a warning before the warning, so to speak, more of a heads up type of deal. Middleburg, you're getting some heavy rain. Mifflinburg, anywhere in between there on Highway 104, seeing that heavy rain. 304, if you're heading towards Sealands Grove and Mifflinburg, heads up. You're about to get some heavy rain. Sunbury, this is heading towards you as well. Beavertown, you're a little bit of a lull here. West Beaver also seen some of that heavy rain with this storm. So this main threat here is the hail size. You can see that hail is one and a half inches. That's about the size of a ping pong ball. So we are seeing some large hail with these storms as well. Let's take a look here, see if we are seeing any of that hail going through the area right now here. It'll take a second to pop up, but you're probably going to see a little bit popping up right between the Middleburg, Beavertown area, Hartley and Mifflinburg will be my guess. And there it is. So you can see we are tracking that hail coming through. At least at the moment it is dropping in color, which is a good sign. That means it's getting a little bit less in size, but we'll see if it ends up uh, increasing here a little bit over time. But if we take a look at the exact size, you get an idea of what we're looking at just under a quarter there in parts of Snyder County. So quarter size hail is considered uh, severe. That's one inch in diameter. This is saying about nine tenths of an inch. So you're talking about the size of a nickel at this point here that's heading towards 235 and also heading towards 104 there in the Middleburg and Mifflinburg areas here. So that is some good or something to keep an eye out for as well. We'll be watching the hail. We're watching the heavy rain, but obviously we're also watching the tornado threat here again for those of you just joining us we are tracking now a couple tornado warnings these are mainly to in our northern areas this is in, going to be in sullivan as well as uh parts of sullivan and also bradford county so we canceled the one that was over kogan house so kogan house you are done for right now you can come out you're good to go uh mcnett there you're still dealing with that's tornado warning until 345 and then we also have the one here in Bradford County that does not include Tawanda it's to your southwest but uh, that goes until four o'clock here as we are continuing to watch these storms come on through so here's a look again at the rotation what exactly uh, we're dealing with let's see if it has changed hopefully it's broadened out a little bit unfortunately it hasn't so we're still watching this rotation right here that's going into Sullivan County and then also into Bradford County there. New Albany heads up. This is going to pass just to your west, it looks like. Uh, Leroy, you also need to keep an eye out here because of some rotation that looks to your southwest too. These are all heading in a northeast direction. So you want to look down to the left side of the screen. That gives you an idea whether or not it's heading to you. But these are, again, heading to the northeast around 30 miles per hour or so. So they're not very fast, but they're fast enough where you want to be making sure you're taking those tornado precautions. What those are going to be include going to the lowest level, most interior room. So here's a look again at what we got in terms of what you need to be doing. Most interior room or basement without windows. This is the key. It needs to be a room without windows. You want to get to the lowest level, most interior room as possible. Basement is the best spot. If you don't have one, don't worry. Go to a closet, a bathroom, or a kitchen. Or, I'm sorry, a hallway. That will do it as well. Here, and it sounds like we just got another update uh, here with the warning, Emily. Uh, did they say anything with about this? Uh, just... Okay, so it's just a kind of a little notice thing from the weather service thing. So we're still continuing with these tornado warnings here. This is the main one right now in Sullivan and heading towards uh, parts of Bradford County. Let's put another track on this actually to give you an idea of what we're looking at uh, right now. Here, and by the way, if you're worried about Scranton and Wilkes-Barre, right now you're fine. Susquehanna County, Wayne County, Pike County, the Poconos, you're fine. Your event's going to be a little, bit, a little bit later. And they did issue a tornado watch. Well, we will get to that in a second. But right now we want to deal with the storms that are uh, really active here at the set moment. So let's take another look here. So here's a look at what we got in terms of the timing. Terry, 406, asylum there around 410. New Albany, if this hit, uh, holds together, you got about 20 minutes or so to give or take. It will be around 355 as this storm system continues moving in the area. And then Hurric there around 420. Stevens, 426. Uh, Larraysville around 430. Auburn at 432 where we're watching these storms continue to move into parts of Bradford County. That tornado warning going for another 25 minutes or so for you there. And then this is actually looks like it might be tightening up. 
here as we go with some scans. You can see how it's getting smaller and smaller with the difference in the colors. That is tightening up a little bit. So that is something we definitely need to watch here over the next uh, several minutes in case it ends up producing. Let's take a look here at the uh, wind shear or the rotation. We're going to be taking a look at that and seeing if it, uh, if we see any drop here in the color. There's definitely some rotation here in parts of Sullivan County along Highway 154. So if you are heading into Bradford County from Sullivan on Highway 154, you need to be heads up here because we are watching this cell come through and it is showing signs of potentially getting a little bit stronger. There's definitely rotation here. Wind shear, by the way, is the changing of wind speed or direction with height. It's, it, you need it for rotation. So if you have a lot of rotation, then you know in a thunderstorm that, okay, it has a better chance of producing uh, a tornado here. It looks like it's still radar indicated though, so they're not seeing any ground truth at the moment. Let's see if we get anything here on radar looking at the correlation coefficient or our debris tracker. Keep in mind, the higher this is on the scale, the more correlated what you're measuring. So a lot of rainfall, for example, is gonna be the purples and the, and the reds. If we had debris, it would be more of the yellow, the green, and the blue. Good news is where we have the rotation here in Sullivan County, we are not seeing that drop. So that's a good thing. That means the radar is not picking up debris here. So it doesn't mean it's not on the ground. It means at least at the radar height, you're not picking anything up. So that is uh, at least an encouragement right now, but it can obviously change. So make sure we're watching this here over time because this is getting a little bit tighter across the area. It's about to cross into Bradford County from Sullivan County. We're zooming in here, see if we can get a few more places to pop up for you. Uh, Quinlan Town, this is going to pass just to your south and east, it looks like, from the center of downtown. So east side of Quinlan Town especially, you need to be making sure you're going to your tornado precautions as this is going to be heading your way. Um, Eldridsville there is going to be passing to your northeast. So if you're south of Eldridsville, I think you're going to be fine with this as this rotation is going to be passing to your north. But Quillen Town, you definitely want to be taking those tornado precautions, going to the lowest level, most interior room as we are continuing to track these storms here. That warning going until 4 o'clock. We are not seeing that it's been observed. If it, it turns to a black box, that means that they have updated the warning to observe. So if this changes, this box changes to black, that means that they have a confirmed tornado. Right now, they do not. So that is uh, hopefully a good thing. But we're definitely watching that rotation right there as we continue to track this storm here around 30 to 35 miles per hour to the northeast. So let's get another idea here on the track. Kellogg, around 4.05. Marshview, for those of you just tuning in, around 4.10. East Tawanda, around 4.16. Lime Hill, 4.24. Herwick, around 4.30. And South Hill, you're going to be about a little bit after that, around 4.36. And as we are continuing to watch this cell continue, uh, continue its path through Sullivan County, about to move into Bradford County. So again, Southern Bradford County to the west of New Albany. You need to be taking those Tornado precautions, going to the lowest level, most interior room. To give you an idea here, exactly where you need to go, let's pull up this graphic real quick. Here's a little idea. Anywhere where you see the green, hallway, closet, uh, staircase, as long as it's interior and there's no windows. Bathroom, as long as there's no windows. Basement, that's the best place, obviously. I understand not everyone has a basement in this area. That is fine. Don't worry. Just go to the most interior room that you can on the lowest floor. The idea is, though, to avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. You want to cover yourself with blankets or a mattress for protection if you can. Obviously, like I said, the safest place to be a basement, if you don't have one, that's fine. Just go to the lowest, most interior room that you can. If you know someone who is driving and they're in that area, though, if they are in this area here in Bradford County or heading in that area, Give them a heads up, call them, say, hey, there's a tornado warning on the ground and the storm is getting stronger. You can see, if you've been watching the last five, 10 minutes, you see how those colors are getting tighter and tighter. That's not what you wanna see, all right? This is, looks like it's starting to get a little bit stronger here uh, as we go into the Sullivan County and it's again heading to the Northeast here. So New Albany, especially west side of New Albany, you need to be taking those tornado precautions. Leroy, this is gonna be to your east. And so I think you're okay uh, out there. Uh, as this is well to your south and east there. All right, let's zoom out here. Let's give a kind of a bigger picture of what we got going on right now. So we're going to go area wide. So this is the entire area, and I'm going to turn on the normal radar that all of you have probably on your phones. So this is what you normally see, right? You're going to be seeing the rainfall here pop up any second. There we go. We'll stop this. So what we're actually at right now. So you can see where these storms are. Let's stop that loop. 
So the rain moving into Sullivan County, Lycoming County, as well as Lewisburg and Sealands Grove, especially in Snyder and Union County, you're about to get heavy rain. So just keep that in mind here too. We also have a couple more storms developing here in Clinton and Northwest Lycoming County. So all the action is in our western part right now. This is coming to Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, Hazleton, Pottsville area, Susquehanna, Poensdale, uh, the Poconos. This is coming your way. So you still need to be paying attention even though things right now are like, it's sunny out, Mike, what the heck are you talking about? I get it, but here's the thing. On a day like this, you don't want sunshine. That destabilizes the atmosphere, that adds fuel to these storms. You don't want sunshine in this case. And unfortunately, out here, uh, we are seeing sunshine. In fact, let me see if I can uh, show you that on the visible satellite here. We are seeing breaks in the clouds. And if you just look out your window, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So this is a look at the current visible satellite. This is not what you want to see right now. Notice how ahead of the storms, which are in Bradford, Sullivan, and Lycoming County, as well as Snyder and Union County, we're basically clear. There's a lot of sunshine here, my friends. That's going to destabilize the atmosphere that adds fuel to the storms. You do not want to see this on a severe weather day. You want to see a lot of clouds. So we are seeing the things uh, start to destabilize in the atmosphere. I do expect more warnings to be issued here. Whether they're tornadic or not, will wait to be seen, but I do think at very least you're going to see some gusty winds with these severe thunderstorms. In fact, that is uh, part of the concern here in parts of Snyder and Union County. And I promise as soon as these warnings are dropped, we will drop off or whenever the threat lifts. I promise you all that we will get off. But right now, you can see that Snyder and Union County, you're not under a tornado warning, but you still have that severe thunderstorm warning for large hail as well as the wind speeds. Notice the hail size. That's the size of a ping pong ball. All right, so we have some uh, large hail, if that goes up to 1.75, which is a golf ball, if that goes up to a golf ball, you'll see that change to a considerable tag, which will be a little bit of a darker outline. But right now, we're seeing ping pong sized hail potentially falling in this area too. So Lewisburg, Sealands Grove, heads up for you. This is heading right in between you along Highway 15 there, it looks like, uh, in the Snyder and Union County area. So just because you're not under a tornado warning doesn't mean that you can ignore this. They are seeing those storms come through. Again, Highway 15, Lewisburg, Sunbury, Salins Grove area. You're about to get some heavy rain as well as a little bit of gusty winds and some hail here. In fact, uh, let's take a look. I'm going to zoom out here for everybody. We're going to zoom out. Let's see if we had any reports here, uh, local storm reports as they're called from the Weather Service. Let's see if they are saying anything here, any uh, ground truth, so to speak, to these storms. A lot of times you get the wind damage component, and we are seeing the hail report and the wind damage here in State College. So these storms, in some cases, are doing exactly what we think they're doing. So they're producing the gusty winds, they're producing the large hail. In fact, let's just take a look at what that hail size is right here. That's about, that's the size of a quarter. So that is in Center Hall, which is Center County. It's just outside our viewing area, but you can see that it is a quarter inch of hail, or I'm sorry, quarter size hail in that area. So we are watching these storms. They are severe. Um, and like I said, just because you don't see storms right now, doesn't mean you're not gonna get them. You will get them later on. Just uh, you know, be patient, so to speak, on that front. Hopefully they'll weaken. So that'll be one good thing if they do that. But for those of you just tuning in, again, we have the tornado warnings here. They are in uh, to the north here. The one in Lycoming in Sullivan County likely going to be expiring here in a few minutes. We'll see. It doesn't look like these are rotating at the moment, although there is another cell here, so we'll watch that carefully. But here's the, the one that has been uh, our bad actor, so to speak, here in Bradford County. This is going to be the south of Tawanda. You can see that little hook shape there with that supercells, we like to call them in meteorology. And as we've put on the rotation here in a second, uh, let's... Let's put it on more here. You'll see the, how they have that color here. So we're looking at storm relative velocity. For those of you who like to use radars, storm relative velocity is better for rotation. So that's why we're not taking a direct measurement and factors in the storm motion. So this is a better indication of the rotation right here. And it's still pretty pronounced, um, unfortunately. There are some gusty winds, though. See how this is a bright red right here? That is gusty winds. That's just moving away from the radar. So we are seeing gusty winds at the very least with this. It might even produce tornadic-like damage. The key is whether or not it's uh, in a convergence pattern or it's all kind of all over the place. If it's all in one direction, that'll be straight-line winds. But we are seeing rotation on radar at least. So that is 
something to be watching for sure as this tornado warning uh, again continues for another 15 minutes. You also can see they dropped the one in Sullivan County and Lycoming County. So Sullivan County, Lycoming County, you're done. This is in now in Bradford County that we are watching this cell continue. Let's put on here. Uh, let me put on the warnings for all of you. So we can see where exactly all the data on this one. So we are watching this tornado warning now. We're down to one. So improvement. We're getting there till four o'clock there. And they just issued another severe thunderstorm warning. It looks like let's take a quick look at that one. So we had the tornado warning that goes till four o'clock. We'll let this load here for a second. It looks like they just issued another severe thunderstorm warning here. This one is now going to be for Snyder and Union County as well. That goes until 430 again. Notice the tornado possible tag. There's not enough evidence on the radar for them to issue a tornado warning. Doesn't mean one can't happen. It just means that, okay, in this environment, it, things can start changing quickly. So it's again, it's like you're pre-warning to the warning, so to speak here. You still wanna pay attention in Hartley and Beavertown. Got a lot of heavy rain though that's coming through that area. Lewisburg and Sealands Grove, you're about to get a downpour, especially in the Sunbury area, probably within the next 10 minutes. Uh, for you, Hartley, I bet you got a, a nice downpour as that came through for you. So that's the severe thunderstorm warning. Let's go back to the tornado warning as that is our main issue here right now that we're going to focus on. That it goes until four o'clock. It's only in Bradford County. It's in the southwestern part of the county here. It's to the west of Terry. So Terry, you are not in the severe thunder, or I'm sorry, you're not in the tornado warning. However, if you have, especially an older cell phone, your wireless emergency alerts probably went off. I'm telling you, you're not in the tornado, tornado warning right now. We'll see if they extend it, but right now you're fine. Same thing with Tawanda. If you have an older phone, you might have had the wireless emergency alerts go off. Uh, you're not in the tornado warning. They just issued a new one. You saw that red box there. So they issued another tornado warning. Uh, this one now in Lycoming and Sullivan County. So that goes until 415. Here, this includes Laporte. So Laporte, this is you. Wolf, this is just to your north and east with this one as it's coming on through with this cell. And uh, Emily, where are they saying here in terms of the speed on that one? That would be uh, State College's office. 35. They're moving at 35? Okay, so let's put out here a track so we can let you know where this one's heading. So the rotation is gonna be right here, or where my hand is, right along Highway 220 from Laporte down to Wolf. So if you are traveling or you know someone who is traveling in that area, you wanna make sure that you are uh, taking your tornado precautions. So let's put on the velocity first so that way we can actually see the rotation. Oh yeah, you can see the rotation right there. That's very evident. So again, going away from the radar, going towards the radar. So you got that counterclockwise rotation right there. And uh, we'll also take a look at that one by Gamble because that's rotating as well. But this is what's gonna happen, my friends. These storms are gonna go and then they're just gonna start rotating. We're in a prime environment for this, unfortunately, today. So you just need to make sure that uh, you are aware, that you're paying attention because these severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings are uh, unfortunately probably gonna be lasting for a little bit longer here, my friends. So here's a look at what we got in terms of this track. Pull this out a little bit more, so that way we can get an idea. But here's a look at the track. Now this does go beyond the tornado warning, so it only goes up to Eagles Mayor there, but nonetheless, as we're seeing, these storms sometimes can last a little longer than anticipated. Eagles Mayor, around 358 for you, Millville. You're looking at 409, Cherry 417. Again, give or take five minutes on this, my friends. New Albany, 423. Stevenson, around 426. Wilmot there, around 430. Tawanda, if this cell was to continue to you, you also need to be watching that around 440 here. Also, uh, just keep in mind that with these cells that sometimes they're radar indicated, that means that there's evidence on radar, but not necessarily ground truth. If uh, there's ground truth, we'll see this box turn. That means it was observed. So thankfully, we are not seeing that yet. Uh, hopefully, we don't see it at all. Let's take another look at this rotation here with this one. They just updated this one, Emily, uh, the one in Bradford County. That is going to be Binghamton's office here. Uh, and let's see if they, they probably just updated the speed. It looks like a little bit on that one. I'm sorry? 25. 25 miles per hour. So that one, they changed the speed on it. So let's take a look at this here. And then in Tawanda, right around 412, Lime Hill, you can see it's around 420 for you. This is the southern Bradford County storm near Overton. Okay, this is to the northwest of Overton, heading towards the Long Valley, Kellogg area, Tawanda around 412. So that is, again, the one in southern Bradford County. 
Orwell around 435, Rushville around 439, Neath, and then Middletown Center here around 450, if this holds together. So we'll continue to watch this sell, but I can tell you this is a rotation. It's, it's hanging on. At the very least, it is definitely hanging on, my friends. So we'll be watching that carefully. So we got that one. We also have what looks like another area of rotation potentially near Pluckett's Creek. That's not tornado worn up. Oh, they just, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the track. I confused myself there with colors. Near Gamble, we're also watching. That one looks like it might be tightened up as well here. So we need to watch that carefully. They could issue another warning with that as we uh, continue to watch and track these storms here. So let's turn on the radar here, the actual radar that you all know and love on your phones, which, by the way, is called reflectivity. That's the technical term of it. So, yeah, we got another cell here that's trying to get its act together. Right now, we're not really organized, so, but it is rotating, at least in the mid and upper levels. So we'll see if that uh, translates to the ground there near McIntyre. But we have this severe thunder, or this tornado warning, excuse me, that goes until 415 in Lycoming and Sullivan County. Does include Laporte along Highway 220 all the way down into parts of Lycoming County. Williamsport, you so far have been fine. You have been able to dodge the bullet. So has Muncie Creek. Doesn't mean that will not change. So just keep that in mind. But Williamsport, Muncie Creek, Jordan, you are not in the tornado warning. For those of you who have a NOAA weather radio, those are countywide. So you're going to hear the warning go off even though you're not necessarily in it. Just keep that in mind. Uh, same thing if uh, I believe a couple of these counties have the code red alert system. That, I, that one I think is actually uh, localized. So that one should be fine. But just know if you're in Williamsport and you heard an alarm go off for a tornado, you're fine. It's just to your west or to your east, excuse me. Laporte, this one is also including you. That goes until 415. As we look at 350 here at 352, and we are tracking this until 4 o'clock here in parts of Bradford County and then also in the Sullivan and Lycoming County area. This one you can see here too where we're seeing that rotation kind of popping up. So we are looking at this one just to the west of New Albany heading to the northeast. This is going to be along Highway 220 so just be aware of this as this is heading to the New Albany uh, just to the north of New Albany there where we're seeing that rotation right now. Take another look here. Actually, this looks like this might be starting to broad out a little bit. Hopefully it does, but we'll be watching to see if that continues here. These could be cycling, meaning they get strong and then they kind of drop off and then they come back. So that can happen, unfortunately, in these uh, situations, my friends. But we are watching that cell in Bradford County as well. Let's go on down. Let's check out Snyder in Union County. For those of you down there, you can see at least here, the good news is the rotation not really in the box. So that is also some good news at the moment. It's kind of broad, at least for the Hartley West Beaver area. Um, watching this though, this is pretty broad at the moment. We'll see if that tightens up. So Lewisburg, Sealands Grove, this is heading, uh, this is heading more towards Lewisburg area on that one. So you can see where we got the heavy rain coming through here. It looks like they may have actually dropped that severe thunderstorm warning for Lewisburg and Sealands Grove. Yeah, they did. But we still have it for Hartley and West Beaver. And like I said, even though you're not maybe under a tornado warning, you're going to have severe thunderstorm warnings for very large hail as well as strong gusty winds. I also want to point out that for those of you in eastern Pennsylvania, you are under a tornado watch right now. So let's turn on the watches here and you can see the tornado watch uh, will continue beyond central Pennsylvania now. They extended it to uh, most, if not the entire area. So let's zoom out. You can see the entire viewing area now, including Wyoming Valley, the Poconos, Pitt County, Wayne County, Schuylkill County, you're all under that tornado watch here. And that will continue, uh, in, I believe, until 9, 10, 11 o'clock. So this can go all the way to 11 o'clock. Personally, think it's going to be a little bit earlier than that. We'll see as it continues here, but we are continuing to track these storms as they go on through. And just so you know, Master Control, I think I lost you guys there uh, for a second. But as we continue to track these storms here with this one, we got a new severe thunderstorm warning, it looks like. This is now going to be in the Susquehanna County and Bradford County. This is not a tornado warning. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. That includes Herrick, Forest Lake, uh, Choconut there, and just along the border just to the west of New Milford there. So we are continuing to watch these cells as they form. Unfortunately, my friends, this is going to continue.
This severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, goes until 5 o'clock. But as long as uh, these tornado warnings eventually drop off, we will, of course, drop off as well. But we are still watching this radar indicated tornado in Bradford County. That cell been a little too persistent for them to drop it so far, but we'll see. It only got about another five minutes unless they extend it. And then we have the one down here that's in Lycoming and Sullivan County. That goes until 415. So hopefully sooner than this, but in 20 minutes we can drop it and never mind. They just issued another tornado warning. So they're expanding the tornado warning now. This does include Tawanda. So that goes until 430. So that's for the same cell in, in Bradford County that we've been tracking here, my friends. It's been very persistent with its rotation. And uh, they're now saying, okay, we need to extend this warning. So that's what they're doing. Uh, Emily, is it still 25 miles per hour, the yeah. speed? It's still 25? Okay. Right. So as we track this cell, let's pull it out for all of you. Here and roughly, actually that's a little too far, with a little too far ahead on it, but this is more so sort of what we're expecting. Let me remove that for you. Kellogg around 405, Marshview around 410, Asylum around 417, Mercer, uh, you're looking around 426. As the storm continues moving your way, and then uh, as we go into the Herrick and Stevens area, we're around 430 and there so after. So this continues. This warning goes until 430. We'll see if they extended it. They just did. So we'll see if that continues. Hopefully, though, it, it will drop off. But let me show you. Uh, exactly why they did what they did why they decided yeah we need to continue this because it's all about rotation in this clouds it's all about this as long as you see it that tight they're going to keep issuing the warning so we just need this to broaden out here but as we zoom in this is where we're watching the new albany area so again especially the south branch stevenson and western and northwestern parts of albany you need to be going to your tornado precautions this does not include uh while Lushing New Albany Road, it does not include you if you're along that road. This is going to be to your north and west. So South Branch, Stevenson, you definitely want to be taking tornado precautions as this is the rotation that we're watching here. And let me see if I can uh, get some arrows here to show you exactly what the rotation is doing. But this is what it's looking at here. It's going to be counterclockwise. So as long as that continues, unfortunately, they're going to continue with these warnings here. But good news is at least... Uh, here, uh, Emily, I'm not seeing anything with reports so far, so that's hopefully some good news, right? They haven't reported anything? Just some trees down a road sign. Or trees down in a road sign. So let's actually take a look here at that report, see if they, they probably put it in as a storm report here, see if it pops up here at the moment, but this... Okay, so that's actually just outside our area, I believe. So that is... Uh, we're not seeing anything, at least that's been reported to the Weather Service yet. Although, if you are in central Pennsylvania and you do see damage, please report it to the Weather Service. Your radar is down. That's why we're using Binghamton's, because unfortunately, we don't have anything that's closer. So we're measuring really high up in the thunderstorms. I will admit that can sometimes give you a false indication of the rotation. Storms rotate faster the higher up you go. So it might look a lot worse, especially in central Pennsylvania with the rotation, than actually is. But because we don't have any ground truth, we got to use what, what we got, my friends. So we got these tornado warnings. There's now three of them in the area, although technically you can say it's maybe two. One that does include Tawanda in Bradford County, and also the one there in Sullivan in Lycoming County. Does not include the Williamsport area. Laporte, you are in the tornado warning, though, there in Sullivan County, like I said. So let's pull this all the way forward. This continues here. They're going to drop that one, and then they're going to go directly to the 430 one here. That includes the Tawanda area, especially southern Tawanda. So you want to make sure you're taking those tornado precautions. Terry, as well. well. Exactly what am I talking about? Let's do a little refresher for everybody here. This is what I'm talking about. You need to be going to the hallway, the stairwell, or the bathroom. The bathroom cannot have windows. It has to be a windowless room. You can go to a closet. Uh, a staircase would work as well. You want to get as close or w far away from the windows as possible. Ba basement's going to be your best bet if you can. Not necessarily uh, an option for everybody. That is fine. You just need to make sure that you're going to the most interior room available to you on the lowest level. You want to cover yourself with the blankets or a mattress for protection. And like I said, obviously the safest place is going to be a basement. If you know someone who is driving in these areas, call them, give them a heads up, let them know maybe the maybe. Uh, go to a business and kind of wait this thing out here as these storms are continuing because these tornado warnings are going to be continuing uh, i have a feeling unfortunately for the area so they just dropped that four o'clock one that was what we expected 
Uh, but now we've got to deal with that 431 for Tawanda and Terry. Let's take a look here at the Sullivan and uh, Lycoming County one. And you can even kind of see right here how there's a little bit of rotation. So the rotation is going to be right here. So Davidson, heads up. The rotation is heading your way, it looks like, here. Uh, there along 220. Let's put on the velocity for this one. See what we got. Yeah, you can see the rotation right here. So Davidson, this is about to come through your western side especially. You want to be taking those per tornado precautions, going to the lowest level, most interior room. And Laporte, this will be heading your way. We'll see if it, it might just ride 220 here, it looks like. It's what it's planning on doing uh, at the moment. Uh, and do we have any other reports, Emily, coming in? Nothing yet? Okay. So as we continue to watch these storms, uh, if you are in Lycoming County, this cell looks like it's actually moving out of you. So Lycoming County, you're in the clear with this one now. I know it's still active, but clearly on radar, you can see it's, it's no longer in Lycoming County. So you're fine there uh, and along 220 in Lycoming County. So that includes Strawbridge, this is moving out. So maybe give yourself another five minutes just to be, uh, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Pitcher Rocks, you're fine. This one's out of your way now at this point. Uh, they're probably gonna update this here in a few minutes. Because like I said, that one is uh, starting to move out. Here. So let's put the tracker on this, with this cell. Put that out. For this cell in Sullivan County, the one down here, so this is not Bradford, this is Sullivan. Sonestown around 403, Wrightsview around 411, Laporte 420, Ringdale 430, uh, Bernice or Bernice there, I'm sorry again if I mispronounced that, uh, it's 439, Cherry around 443. Ladsburg there around 4.53 and Kali around uh, just before 5 o'clock. So as these storms continue, they are moving uh, in those directions. They are heading to the northeast around 25 miles per hour or so. They can obviously fluctuate a little bit from that, but we are continuing to track these storms here. Uh, looks like, Herrick, you're about to get some strong winds coming through. These are some very strong winds. In fact, let's take a, a measurement of what those winds are. Here. Oh, it's going to do the warning. Okay. With these wind speeds here, at least on radar, are probably close to 40 or 50 miles per hour. Not necessarily hitting the ground, but Herrick, you're probably getting some very gusty winds as this is coming on through. And also looks like it might be showing a little bit of broad rotation. So hopefully that one does not get its act together with that. All right. Here's the Bradford County storm again. South Branch, this is pushing to your north. Uh, Monroe, -ton, uh, Monroe -ton there. This is heading in your direction, it looks like, as this cell, again, you can see the rotation there with the different colors. It's the tight rotation as these storms continue moving through that area. I do want to zoom out, give everyone kind of a wide view of what we got going on. Uh, I think we're going to get another warning here, by the way, guys, uh, in the control room down there by Lewisburg. That looks like it's starting, at least a severe thunderstorm warning. That's rotating, though. You can see there's nothing in eastern Pennsylvania. That's because the storms have simply not arrived yet for you. So I know... Those of you in Scranton and Wilkes-Barre, Hazleton, Jim Thorpe area are probably like, what in the world are you talking about? I get it. Um, but these just simply haven't arrived. But you can see we have the tornado warning there in Bradford, Sullivan, and Lycoming County. We are seeing some heavy rain moving through the Lewisburg and Sealands Grove area. Uh, unfortunately, that one, I want to take another look at that one because that one did show signs, at least when we zoomed out. That one did show, look like it was uh, rotating a little bit. So let's put on the shear tracks here. Again, wind shear is the changing of wind speed and direction with height. Uh, so we'll be looking at that. We'll see if it pops up here a little bit. Uh, looks like a little rotation right here. If you can look carefully, there are some dots right there in parts of uh, Snyder County, it looks like. But uh, we'll see if that continues because as we look at the, reflect or the velocity image, you can see there is broad rotation right here. So we'll see, but hopefully uh, that one doesn't tighten up. So we'll walk, take a not look at that one later on. But again, for those of you in eastern Pennsylvania, I, I get it. There's nothing going on right now, but that's because you simply haven't had the storms yet here. We also have that severe thunderstorm warning that includes Bradford in Susquehanna County here. That one looks like it might be tightening up, as, unfortunately, uh, my friends. This one looks like it might be tightening up. The good news is there's no uh, signature for debris, at least not yet with that one. We're not seeing really a debris signature here either. This is all kind of noise from the radar. So uh, sometimes you can get false returns with hail. That's very common with this 
here. Okay, now let's take a look here at this one and really take a look at what we got going on with the one that's near Laporte and Sullivan County because that one did have a bit of a drop. So let's see, make sure that that's not doing anything it shouldn't. So that one, as you can see the rotation, again, Laporte, you're about to get the heavy of the rain. It's on your south side already around long 220. The rotation is going to be right around here, right where my hand is. And in fact, when we put on the uh, velocity, you can see it's tightening up right there, unfortunately. So this one, again, is continuing. Uh, let me throw on the debris tracker because I did see a lowering, but okay, yeah, this is most likely hail. And the reason why you can see that is because the heavy rain was on this side. It's right over the same area. If it was a little bit more to the east, then that'd be something to watch. But uh, this hopefully uh, is more likely a hail situation, at least here. So we'll keep that in mind as we continue to watch these uh, storms. So we'll move it across one more time. Yeah, this is where we saw the drop. And you can see how the heavy rain is right here. So this is likely where that hail was. The rotation is a little bit farther to the east, so they're not correlated, which is a good thing. That's an indication that it's probably hail in that situation. All right, let's take a look at this one again. That goes until 4.30. They just issued another severe thunderstorm warning. We'll take a quick look at that, though. Let you know who's under that. Put the gun for this. Uh, it looks like they... So we'll give an idea with this one as it continues here. It's going to take a second. Tornado possible tag. Again, that's the darker color that you are seeing. That goes till 4.45. Quick reminder for everybody, this is in Northumberland in Snyder and Union County. So this one, trying to get itself together, trying to produce enough rotation, not really getting there yet. So hopefully that continues. But this is Lewisburg, between Lewisburg, Sunbury, and Sealands Grove. You're about to get heavy rain, especially in the Lewisburg area. I bet you you're getting heavy rain and some gusty winds. The hail size keeps going back and forth as well. Right now, it's uh, about half dollar size hail, which is a little bit bigger than a quarter. We're also seeing 60 mile per hour wind gusts in this area. So this cell is continuing. We also have the one down here over the West Beaver area. So that goes in this one in West Beaver and Hartley, which is still Snyder and Union County. That goes till 430. The one that was just issued for the Lewisburg, Sealands Grove, Sunbury area, as well as Northumberland County and a little bit of Montour County, or I'm sorry, yeah, Montour County a little bit. That goes till 445. So they're just going to keep issuing them down the line with those. Again, it'll possible tag means it could change, but right now they're not seeing enough rotation, but the environment is present for things to change quickly. Tornado warning, on the other hand, is different. And you can see where we have those. So we got this one. That goes to 415 here. Let's take a look at this one because it's starting to move out of its original area. In Davidson, you need to be moving into your tornado, shelter, or tornado area right now because that is moving over you. So Davidson, you need to be going to your tornado precautions at this moment. That is going to be the lowest level, most interior room through the area, especially in West Davidson. As Normount Road, Main Street right here, uh, it looks like, and we got Normount Road. So if you are along those areas in the Davidson area and Munts Valley, you need to be taking your tornado precautions. Right, Spew? You got maybe uh, five minutes, it looks like, with this cell. So that's coming your way, too. Right now, it's only radar indicated. That means that they're seeing the rotation on the radar, but not necessarily on th at the ground. We don't have ground truth, is, in other words, they're putting it. But you can see with that rotation, it's been there. It's been persistent. So they are going to issue that tornado warning as a precaution. I highly suggest that if you are in those areas that I just mentioned, go to your, uh, your lowest level, most interior room, and ride out the storm. If you are heading, heading between Laporte and Strawbridge on 220, you need to stop and wait out the storm. Do not keep driving on 220 right now. Let the storm pass. Once you get uh, the storm to pass over you, then you're fine. But when you're in a tornado warning and you are driving, the best thing to do is to pull over and to go to a sturdy building, a business or a gas station was usually the best option there with that as this continues moving through. Eagle Mare, this is going to be to your east, so you actually uh, should be fine. So Eagle Mare there around Highway 4, uh, 42, excuse me, uh, you're going to be all right. This is going to pass to your east. Laporte, you still need to watch this because this is heading your way. Looks like it's riding right up around long 220. Uh, it might go just to your east, though, if, with the current trajectory, because it's going this way here. So it might actually just pass your east, to your east there, hey, with a the cell. National yes, John? The service in Binghamton is reporting the severe storm near Herrick Center is starting to rotate. So if you could take a look at that. Yeah, that's the one that's in Bradford County. 
uh, John. And actually, yeah, that's the one I was saying about earlier that is, has a little bit of rotation. So right now, you can see how it's blinking, my friends. That is the tornado possible tag. That's that orange box. All right. But uh, if that gets stronger or, or continues, I have a feeling they're going to issue a tornado warning. They haven't yet, but we'll see. And that would include parts of Susquehanna County. All right. Let's go back to the reflectivity here. Stop it for all of you. So this is the storm uh, that uh, John, who's our general manager and graciously helping me <laughs> on this day, so thank you, John, for that, uh, is the tornado possible tag here. So they also see the gusty winds with it. Keep in mind, straight line winds can also produce tornado-like damage. The difference is, is it all in one direction or is it kind of all over the place? That's honestly how they tell if it was tornado or not, is they look at the damage uh, where it fell. But uh, this is heading towards, uh, looks like is that Highway 858, it's a little small for me. 858, yeah, Highway 858, 267 in Susquehanna County, also Harewick. Uh, you don't need to necessarily take your tornado precautions right now, but you're definitely seeing that rotation. Uh, Larraysville, you're getting that heavy rain. Stevens, looks like this might actually just pass to your north, but if you're heading to, up to Larraysville, uh, I would wait. Give your, let this storm pass with that one as these storms, uh, unfortunately, are keeping going and going. Yeah, there's the rotation that they're talking about. It's right here. It's on the southeast side of Herrick and heading, again, uh, towards Highway 467. It looks like it's going to go right between Larraysville and Stevens. So I believe this is, uh, unfortunately, not a very, very populated area. But nonetheless, for those of you who may be in this area or know somebody in this area, uh, give them a heads up, especially if they're not necessarily paying attention. It is 420, after all. So people are... Uh, you know, going home from work and stuff at the moment here. Uh, so they may not be necessarily paying attention. That is getting stronger too. So uh, they, they're probably going to end up doing something if that persists real soon here with that cell. We also have another one that we're watching. This, again, is the Tawanda area that we're paying attention to. We'll throw this up for you, all of you. This one continuing to move to the northeast around 30 miles per hour, give or take. Uh, there was a little bit of embedded rotation up here, although with the rain, it's uh, probably more upper level than anything else. It'll, if anything, it would be down here a little bit with the rotation. So we'll continue to watch that as this cell continues. And it is uh, 421, so it looks like the radar data might actually be behind a little bit here. So we're, we'll continue to watch this as it continues moving on through here, or at least that timestamp is. Mike, yes. uh, coming from Binghamton, uh, we received a report of a funnel cloud in Orbiton, Pennsylvania. This was 20 minutes ago. We are also receiving 911 calls from Bradford County EMA, receiving multiple calls on drainage issues on Main Street, Tawanda, runoff approximately six to eight inches of water on the roadway from River Bridge to York Avenue. All right, so what, for, if you guys could not hear what he was saying, uh, they're getting reports of a funnel cloud in Overton, Pennsylvania, which is near this area. They're also uh, re getting reports of drainage course. issues there on Main Street and Tawanda. Right. And uh, runoff approximately six to eight inches of water from the roadway. So they are uh, seeing the heavy rain. Keep in mind, not only the tornado and severe thunderstorm threat, but also the heavy rain. When you get a lot of rain like this over a short time, it's not surprising that that's happening. In fact, let's uh, see here. Maybe we can get an estimate from the radar on just about how much may have fallen here. So you can see why uh, they're probably experiencing those issues at the moment. So let's take a look here. Here, look at the precipitation rates. I will say this tends to be a little bit on the uh, quote unquote dramatic side of things. But yeah, I mean, when you're talking precipitation rates up here, for example, that's almost two inches an hour. That's actually probably accurate. That's probably close, to be honest with you. Sometimes they'll show like 10 inches an hour, and it's like, yeah, okay, that's not happening. But uh, Tawanda here, especially the south side of the city, uh, you're probably getting about two inches an hour rate. So it's not a surprise that they're seeing those drainage issues, John, uh, with that one here. And also the storm in Harewick, you can see some of those darker or brighter colors here with the heavy rain. So we're dealing with a uh, multi front system, so to speak. We're dealing with the tornado threat, we're dealing with the heavy rain threat, the gusty winds, the large hail. So unfortunately, we, uh, we're getting the severe weather. Usually this is something they deal with out in the south and central part of the country. Well, today it's our turns, my friends, and uh, Mother Nature is letting us have it, it looks like. Thankfully, though, at least right now, John, I'm not seeing any reports, so hopefully that continues. So let's actually take a look at these reports, see if they popped up 
here in Bradford County because uh, as you heard just a few moments ago, Tawanda, you are experiencing at least a little bit of ponding on the roadways it looks like here with it. Uh, they haven't issued any reports yet, but they'll probably do that sh uh, shortly. All right, well, we're going to see if they update any of these warnings here. Sometimes they like to do that. All right, so we still got the tornado possible tag on this one. That goes till 5 o'clock. We also have this tornado warning here. That goes until 4.30. Just so you know, the one in Sullivan County, LaPorte, you are good. They dropped the warning for you. So Sullivan County, Lycoming County, you're in the clear right now. Doesn't mean it won't change, but right now you're fine. This is only in Bradford County, uh, Susquehanna County, especially northwest Susquehanna County to the west of New Milford. Uh, I would be paying attention because if that rotates, gets any stronger, they're probably going to unfortunately decide to issue a tornado warning there. We'll see, but th they very well could with that. We're also dealing with severe thunderstorms here down in the Lewisburg and Sealands Grove area, and this is, tends to be a very populated or traveled road is Highway 15, 220, and then also I-80, of course, heading towards the Bloomsburg area. So uh, as this actually passes over Berwick, our, one of our engineers he has a camera there. We'll probably get a nice view of the storm as it rolls over, but this goes until 445 for you. And the main threat with this is going to be the hail size and the wind speed. The tornado possible tag, again, is just because in this environment, things can rotate quickly. They want to just give, kind of give you like a, hey, you really need to pay attention type of thing uh, with this. It's not the same as a tornado warning. The only tornado warning we have right now, and hopefully this will be the last for a little bit, is until 4.30. And it's also just outside Tawanda and along Highway 220 there. Although, if you are to the west of 220 in Bradford County, uh, this is now moving out of your area. Asylum, though, you're getting the very heavy rain at the very least moving through, especially along Highway uh, 187. They just issued another tornado warning, probably the one that we've been watching here, though. So they just issued a new tornado warning uh, in the area. We'll let the system catch up to itself. Uh, they reissued it for uh, Laporte, actually. So. They dropped it for a minute, so they, they were updating it is what it was uh, here. So Laporte, still under that tornado warning here, the Davidson area, it's passing outside of you. Let's zoom in. Cherry, you're also included in this one, by the way, and so is Lopez. Lopez, especially there, you want to be making sure you're paying attention because this is heading in a northeast direction, and it's located to your southwest. So if you take it out, it, it does head in that direction, unfortunately, uh, with it here. And uh, John, did they have the wind speed on this one? Which one? Here, the, the one for Sullivan County. It will be under State College as offices here. Uh, 25 miles an hour. 25. So they're still saying 25 with this one. So let's track that out for all of you here. Uh, first, let me put on the, ref or the velocity so we can actually see the rotation. Here it is. Just moving outside of the Davidson area. So Davidson, uh, this is actually moving out. So probably in about five or ten minutes, you'll be in the clear. Laporte, this is going to pass to your east, it looks like, as this heading to the northeast and yeah you can even see with that latest scan uh, it looks like now it's starting to take more of that easterly side of 220 so west side of 220 if you are on the west side of 220 think you're going to be okay i think you're fine if you're on the east side then you need to pay attention especially north of davidson where this is going so here is whoop, we'll go back here for all of you let's pull up that track So Lopez around 4.43, and then you have uh, Kali there around 4.58. Keep in mind, my friends, this timestamp for some reason is 10 minutes slow. It's actually close to 4.30 when we're saying this right now. So this is actually uh, a little bit far off. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. But uh, so do, do ignore that timestamp, okay? L just listen to what I'm telling you on the time or check your phone because this is within a minute or two of me saying it. So Lopez 4.43. Elwell there around 506, North Branch 509, Forkston there around 517. Again, this is heading to the northeast, and it's going to be to the east side of the 220 area. Let's zoom in, see if we can get any uh, Nordmount there. You need to be taking those tornado precautions. In fact, it looks like uh, we have a road there. Let's zoom out so we can see it. Nordmount Road. So if you're uh, north of Davidson along Nordmount Road there, you need to be taking those tornado precautions right now because that is the, the cell is heading over you at the moment, or it's uh, just past one of the two. Ringdale, heads up, this is heading your way along uh, road one, uh, 1006, it looks like, and then 487 near Lopez. If you're going into Lopez from Ringdale uh, and you're on Highway 487, 
I would pull off right now and let the storm pass as it's coming your way. You got about uh, 10 or 15 minutes before it really becomes an issue, but I would just pull off now. Give yourself some grace here in terms of what's happening right now here. So let's see, a spotter observed rotating wall cloud and stated there may be a brief touchdown, uh, the brief, no debris brief sighted or, uh, or confirmed. not confirmed. And that is in West Franklin, which is Bradford County. So. And it was from a train weather spotter. So again, folks, uh, especially if you are in central Pennsylvania, you please, if you get see something, take a picture, send it to the weather service, because right now that is uh, kind of all they got, <laughs> to be honest with you, because we're using a radar that's really far away here at the moment. So let's take a look at these two storms. So this is the one in Bradford County. And what was the city again? Uh, Franklin, West Franklin where they saw this, and that was around uh, 3.50, so that was actually a little earlier. Sometimes that can happen, my friends. These reports will come in, and they're a little bit behind. That's because they have to verify them. So uh, they probably, if that was a storm report, they, they would have issued a little, yep, right there. So this is where they, whoop, right here. So that is where they're talking about with that funnel cloud, or, or wall cloud, I mean, uh, being observed. So you can see a spotter observed rotating wall cloud. That is the base of the thunderstorm spinning. Uh, and state that there may be a very brief touchdown. Uh, no debris, debris has been cited and it is not confirmed. So they have not confirmed it, but they are saying that there is a rotating wall cloud, which is something that you look for in a tornado. And it literally is a lowering of the cloud that spins. That's, that's what it is. I will also say this, in these situations, you can sometimes get what we call scud clouds. That is going to be very raggedy looking. It's not n uh, normally attached to the base of the thunderstorm, uh, and they do not rotate. So if you see a cloud that's not attached to the thunderstorm, that's very raggedy looking, it, you're fine. It's not going to do anything here. If it's smooth and attached to the cloud and rotating, well then, yeah, you, uh, then we got something, potentially. Here, so we're still watching this cell that's heading into Susquehanna County, northwestern parts of Susquehanna County now, uh, from Bradford County. They still have that tornado possible tag on it, so they've not upgraded it to the warning, but, and hopefully they don't. All right, so now we're starting to get some of these deeper colors. So see how the very bright red, and then you got the blue? That means that we're seeing stronger rotation in this area. So especially in Sullivan County, right now, here. Lopez, this is heading your way, Ringdale. This is going to pass just to your east, but I'm seeing now stronger colors popping up here with the rotation. The stronger the difference, the more rotation there is. The stronger the rotation, uh, potentially, the more likely you are going to have something. Uh, we are, though, going into a kind of a bad area, though, with this radar, and you can tell that by the purple here. So we are getting some mixed signals, but uh, when you get these different colors like this, that is, uh, definitely means you need to watch as this cell continues and on Sullivan County. We'll time that out for you again, for those of you just joining. Again, for those of you who've been on for a while, uh, first off, appreciate it. Second of all, I promise as soon as these warnings drop, we will return you to programming for, uh, if you've been looking for that, we will return you just as soon as these storms drop off here. But this cell continued to the northeast here across the area. Uh, looks like it didn't take for some reason on that one. But as we continue to watch these storms here, again, in the Sullivan County area, we're going to be watching this here continue and just clear this out a little bit. There we go. Sometimes it's better just to do that. As we go back here, you can see Radford County and Sullivan County. These are the two warnings we still have. Then we also have the severe thunderstorm warning there in Susquehanna County uh, here at the moment. But looks like I may have lost the iPad. All right, no problem. We're going to be doing this. Uh, John, do you mind checking the magic box track there on the bottom right, please? Yeah. So we got these two warnings here, the Bradford County warning and also the Sullivan County warning, LaPorte. Uh, this is passing to your east. LaPorte, you're okay. So if you're in LaPorte and you can hear me, if you're, maybe you turn the volume all the way up so that way you can also listen to the coverage. Uh, you know, this is going to be passing to your east there in the Sullivan County area here. So as we take a look here at what we got going on with the Bradford County and Sullivan County storms, uh, here we can kind of see what we got with this one. This is the uh, tornado possible tag with the severe thunderstorm warning. Again, that's not the same as a tornado warning here. Uh, excuse me, John, real quick. Just going to check that. There you go. There we go. All right, now we're going to be able to track this out for all of you here. 
All right, so this is the cell right here in Sullivan County that we are watching. It's going around 25 miles per hour. So Lopez 440 here, and it is uh, 425. Oh, well, one good thing is that, that radar timestamp finally updated. So it's 425 now, and then North Branch around 5 o'clock if it holds together. Again, these cells could drop off. Hopefully they do. We'll see. But again, the Sullivan County storm making sure that uh, we are watching that one here. So let me clear this out of the way here for all of us. And then we'll zoom in here and we'll take another look at this cell a little bit more in depth here for everybody. On the box. There we go. So we got this cell here that is continuing. That goes till 5 o'clock with that warning. So again, it is uh, 425. And we're going to be continuing to watch these storms as they roll on through. Norbound there, though, it is uh, passing away from you. And Lo Lopez, it is now heading in your direction. So we'll clear this uh, out of the way here and get rid of that. And then we'll use the velocity because we can actually see what's going on with this storm. Yeah, we're still seeing that rotation here. The rotation is going to be right in this area. So that is what we're tracking heading into the Lopez region here, along Highway 487. Now, I know I said it before, but some people kind of come back and forth with this sometimes, so just in case they did, Lopez, heads up, this is heading your way. You've got about another 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes before that is heading in your direction. All right, let's zoom out here. We're going to go back, and we're also going to take a look at the wide view for Northeast Pennsylvania. Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, and Wyoming Valley, right now you're fine. Again, this is to your west. I get it, but it is heading your way, so just uh, hold on. It'll, it, it's coming. For those of you who think that uh, you know, nothing's going to happen, just you know, hold your horses. It's coming as these storms are moving in, in our direction here. Now, the good news is, though, there's a little bit of light rain ahead of the front. As long as there's the light rain that actually kind of stabilizes the atmosphere, that might help us out here. They just issued a new severe thunderstorm warning. We'll see if this works. So we have a new severe thunderstorm warning. This one was just to the south of that previous one, it looks like. So we got Bradford and Susquehanna County. That goes till 5 o'clock. Uh, and it goes with the tornado warning. So we'll see, but it's possible they may actually drop that warning. Here, uh, John, did they mention that? Yeah, they did. They're, they're, they're going to drop it? dropping it. Okay, so they're going to drop that warning here in a couple of minutes, the one that's in Bradford County. So we are right. seeing things getting a little bit better. Uh, as soon as that drops off, then we'll be looking at that. So here is a look at what we got going on with that da data here, uh, velocity, and storm. All right, so still watching this uh, and while loosing, I believe that's correct. If, again, if I misprint. Okay, I am correct. All right, good. So we are watching that rotation here. It's broadening out. That's why they're not continuing the tornado warning, which is a good thing. Uh, but we are still have that severe thunderstorm warning, and that one we'll be watching here for some gusty winds. So even though the rotation may drop off for the tornado warning, my friends, keep in mind, you're still going to get straight line winds. You're going to have the gusty winds, and you can be dealing with um, low-end tornado-like damage. So the down trees, uh, power lines, any loose outdoor furniture, if the storms are not over you yet, and you can bring that in and tie it down, probably a good idea today. Uh, and especially, even in the Wyoming Valley and the Poconos, you know, even though the storms right now are not near you, Probably a good idea, like, you know, just bring things in and tie them down as uh, these storms are continuing to move to the east here. And, uh, John, did they update uh, something? Flood advisory for Bradford County. Okay, so they issued a flood advisory. So, again, the heavy rain aspect of this as well we need to keep in mind here, too, because we're still seeing, even though uh, our, obviously our main concern is the tornado warnings and the severe thunderstorm warnings, we still got the heavy rain. They may not issue a flash flood warning, which is, you know, the highest they can go. But they're issuing the flood advisories, letting you know heavy rain has fallen, poor drainage areas are going to be uh, potentially experiencing some issues. This includes the Herrick area as well as, well as Wailusing, Wilmont area, uh, Auburn to just to the north there in Susquehanna County and New Albany. So we are seeing the heavy rain aspect even if you don't get the tornado or the, heavy, or the gusty winds with it here as well. Okay, so we're going to take one more look here at what we got going on with Northeast PA. Then we're going to go back to Sullivan County because we also have that warning as well here. So uh, we'll go to data. We'll check out what we got in terms of the warnings right now. Here are all the warnings that are active at the moment here once this updates. And you can see we still got the tornado warning here in the Sullivan County area and also in the Bradford County area. The Sullivan County one was a little, quote unquote, more uh, impressive, as we will say, meaning it's a little stronger looking. Uh, if you ever hear a meteorologist say it's impressive, it means it's stronger. 
that is uh, some lingo that we'll, we use here that often gets a little, uh, sometimes taken the wrong way. But uh, impressive means stronger in meteorology often, especially if you're talking with a storm chaser. So you can see that we have that rotation again, uh, heading to the east of Laporte. So Davidson, you are in the clear. This is to your now north and east, so you're clear Laporte. Probably another five minutes for you before this one finally um, moves out of your area here too. But Lopez, this is heading in your direction. I will say, see how it's elongated like this? So this actually might be more straight line winds. Now, well, this might be coming a little more straight line winds here, but just in case, uh, they're also watching right in this area here too. Sometimes it will gust out and then rotate again. So we'll see here. They, might, they may drop this a little early if that happens. And hopefully they do. All right, well, let's go to data here and uh, we'll go to rotation. That'll give us an idea of what this is doing. So we got this here. Yeah, we're still seeing a little bit of rotation, my friends, heading towards the Lopez area there in Sullivan County. So this is the east of 220. If you are west of 220, Forksville area, Davidson area, uh, then you are fine. This is to the east of 220. to give you kind of an idea of what we're looking at. And Jameson City, by the way, you're, you're in the clear um, with this one here. So we're going to zoom out a little bit. And then we're going to put on... Uh, the live radar so we can see exactly what's happening here for you guys here in Sullivan County where this storm is continuing. But you can see how they had to issue that extension to the warning. Um, unfortunately, that's probably going to happen a few times. Looks like this is, uh, yeah, it looks like this one might start gusting out here. There's still a little bit of a nub. See how that's kind of sticking out a little bit right there? So that's where the rotation is potentially uh, what they're looking at here at the moment. So, But this goes till 5 o'clock, and if they drop it any earlier, of course, we will... Uh, drop off as well so East Bradford County tornado warning expired okay so they expired that tornado warning that was in parts of Bradford County so they let that one expire which is good news so we'll zoom out just to give everyone kind of a reference check here what's going on so Bradford County you're dealing with the two severe thunderstorm warnings as well as Susquehanna County still could see some gusty winds and you could also see that tornado warning continue or reissue that's what that possible tag means it means that right now Things are okay, but very quickly things can change. So we'll be watching that for you. We've also been watching these storms in the Lewisburg, Sealands Grove area. Bloomsburg, heads up, this is heading your way. You're gonna have a downpour here uh, probably within the next 30 to 45 minutes in the Bloomsburg area. So just a heads up for anyone that might be traveling home from that. But uh, the only tornado warning we got is this one here in Sullivan County. Uh, at least at the moment on radar, it does look like it might be gusting out, though. Hopefully that continues, which meaning uh, it'll turn more to a straight-line wind scenario versus the um, tornado threat here. Uh, we're actually going to go to camera, and we're going to go to box. Drag this out for all of you. We're going to zoom in on this one. As we still have the, again, we still have the one here in Northumberland, Snyder, and Union County. Danville, you're about to get a downpour. And... Uh, uh, Ralpho there, it looks like it's going to be heading just to your north, at least initially. You can see if you look to the bottom left of your screen, there is a little bit of rain continuing, so this is going to be heading in your direction. Uh, Cole, you're not under a severe thunderstorm warning yet, but you do have rain off to your north. So just because you're not in the warning doesn't mean you're going to miss it. You will get heavy rain, it's just not at the, not in the near term, so to speak. Bloomsburg, you're not in the severe thunderstorm warning, but uh, that you can see there's a wall of rain coming your way, right along Highway 80. So. In fact, they just issued another, 20, uh, sorry, severe thunderstorm warning. Let's see where that is here. That's popping up here. Moving at 25 and, it's, miles an hour. and it's moving at 25 miles an hour? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so now they're issuing this one here. This is the tornado possible tag for um, the cell that we were just discussing about in Sullivan County. So this is look like it is continuing to travel into or turn into a straight line wind threat. So they're going to issue the severe thunderstorm warning downstream to give everyone a heads up, but it looks like uh, the rotation on that one might be weakening. So hopefully that continues. Uh, that goes, by the way, until 515 in Bradford and Wyoming County. That does include the Forkston area. So you were saying that that's around 25 miles per hour, John. So let's uh, actually time that out for everybody here. So we're going to go to this. And as we take on the, um, we'll do this one here for everybody. So this is around 25 miles per hour, give or take. It is heading to the northeast. And try to get that as much as I can. Just an idea. Lopez around 443, Forks in there around 458, Collie around 502, and then as we go into uh, Lymanville there around 530, uh, 
as it continues moving again to the northeast. They're issuing the severe thunderstorm warning with the tornado possible tag because it's exactly what we saw on the velocity. In fact, I'll, I can show you that here, that we are starting to lose that uh, couplet, that very tight rotation look, it looks like. And right here, you can see it's a little bit broad and also right here. Uh, broad as well. So this is turning into more of a straight line wind situation as it moves into the Lopez area right now. And uh, we'll even zoom in here for everyone to just get a few places to pop up. So Lopez, you got some gusty winds out here in your way, probably around 60 mile per hour winds. They're heading in that area. Same thing in the Cali area, area and Belzavea, I believe that's how you say that, is uh, also you're going to see some gusty winds, especially to your west area. Highway 87 nor near North Branch in Wyoming County. Uh, this is heading towards you. So North Branch, Collie, just an FYI, this is heading in your direction. So you want to make sure it's, it's also in uh, northern Lackawanna County as well. So you want to just be making sure that you're watching this as well as it is continuing to move through. So Lackawanna County, you're about to see these storms here starting to move into your area, that, like I mentioned. Just because you didn't see it yet doesn't mean you're not going to get it. And I want to show you also why we are still saying even Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, you need to be on guard with this because we have a lot of sunshine across the area. So we'll zoom out here. Where we're not seeing the storms, we are seeing the sunshine for the most part here. And that is not a good thing in this situation. So we'll turn on the visible satellite here. I'll step on this side so you can actually see it. And you're gonna see with this stopping, um, you had the clouds this morning, and then we had a lot of sunshine in the afternoon, all right? And even when I stop this loop here, stop that loop for everybody that's right now, you see a lot of broken clouds. That erodes what we call the cap. It's a lid, basically an invisible lid in the atmosphere. Once you take away that lid, these storms fire up very quickly. So in this, sunshine erodes that lid. It makes it weaker. So you don't want sunshine in this situation here. Although we are seeing, it looks like some clouds maybe over the Pocono. So hopefully that actually will help you out there a little bit. But you can see where the storms are bubbling up. In fact, you got a nice impressive uh, thunderstorm cloud right there near Tawanda and also parts of Bradford County. So we are seeing uh, them now moving into a favorable environment in parts of Susquehanna, Northern Wayne and Lackawanna County, as well as uh, parts of Luzerne County, Back Mountain, Wilkes-Barre, uh, Nanny Coke area, Pittston area, um, Avoca, uh, Kingston, this is going to be heading your air in, into your neck of the woods within a couple hours. So just keep in mind that uh, we are not done yet and it, things may continue. Might or thunderstorm warning for southeastern Bradford County. Okay. So thunderstorm is located over Ricketts Glen. Awesome. So uh, it's in uh, Ricketts Glen, you said? Look, storm is located over Ricketts Glen. Okay. And so a new severe thunderstorm warning has, uh, so that is over the Ricketts Glen area. In Susquehanna County, we also have the other ones here uh, popping up. We still got that tornado warning in Laporte, but like I said earlier, it looks like that's maybe transitioning to more of a straight line wind threat. Still something you want to be uh, away from windows for. Even when a severe thunderstorm warning is issued, my friends, you still don't want to be up against the windows. And trust me, I get the whole watching storm thing, but you don't want to be up against the windows, all right? You want to be in the most interior room that you can. And if you're driving and you have these warnings issued, uh, you know, it's, it would not be a bad idea to pull over, especially if it's a tornado warning. You should pull, pull over for that. Let's check out central Pennsylvania real quick, see what we got going on there, because we do have the one warning in Lewisburg and Sealands Grove. That is the tornado possible tag as well. Uh, that is continuing here, so we'll turn on the live radar, get everybody kind of an idea of what we got with there as well. So here's a look at what we got going on in central Pennsylvania. We started off there. We knew the storms were going to be a little bit earlier. You can see that heavy rain now moving through the Lewisburg, Sealands Grove, Sunbury area in Northumberland, Montour County. You're about to get it too here and Bloomsburg. You're going to be getting that as well. Still see some gusty winds with this cell as it continues moving there along I-80. So Bloomsburg all along I-80 there in uh, parts of Northumberland, Montour. And I would also say even, uh, parts of uh, Union County there. You want to make sure that if, if you're not, especially not comfortable in heavy rain, pull over and let the storm pass. It should pass um, relatively soon. It shouldn't be an all night affair uh, out there. So as we look at your loop here, um, let's put that on. And they just issued an extension to that. So now Bloomsburg, you are in the severe thunderstorm warning. You can see how it just popped up there. Bloomsburg, you're now in the severe thunderstorm warning there with that tornado possible tag. Uh, as these storms continue on through. Although I will say, you can see a lot of reds and 
yellow there, that is heavy rain. So I would not be surprised if we start seeing some issues there uh, with the flash flooding concerns starting to pop up as well. So here's a look at what we got going on with this one. Looks like it may have froze a little bit. Oh, let's try it again. Sometimes you got to hit a few times. Nope. All right. So we'll just zoom in here. We'll do it this way. Zoom in. You can see where that severe thunderstorm warning has now been issued here. This is for Columbia, Montour, and Northumberland County. It does include the Danville area as it's heading, uh, now arriving in Danville. Same thing in West Hemlock. So this is what, the, the, again, the tornado possible tag. The main threats are going to be the wind gusts and also uh, the large hail, the half dollar size hail that you're seeing there right now. We'll zoom out, kind of give everyone an overview of what we got going on here. And John, is this still at 25 miles per hour? Yes. Okay. So Bloomsburg, Berwick, you're right on the edge. So Berwick, heads up, this is coming your way. Uh, John, I don't know if you're watching at home, but if you are, your camera's going to capture this coming through uh, later on tonight. So we'll be able to see that come through. But so there we got the warning there. And then uh, let's take a look here at the actual speed of everything as it comes on through. Keep in mind, this is more of an estimate, but give you an idea. The heaviest of the rain, the heaviest of the rain, Montour, around 5 o'clock here. It is now 441 at this time, so you got about 20 minutes for you. Bloomsburg, a little bit after that, around 506. Uh, and then as we go into South Central there, around 520. Mifflin, around 525. And Berwick, you're looking just after the 530 time frame with the strongest part of that storm continuing through the area. Now, Sealands Grove, you're dealing with a lot of heavy rain at the moment. Be careful on the roadways there. They, uh, they haven't said anything about ponding in Sealands Grove, have they, John? Yeah, yet? Yet. No, so, but they are seeing a lot of heavy rain, especially north side of town. So uh, just be careful is all I'm going to say with that. Just be careful because uh, it might... Uh, there might be a little bit of ponding there. That's been going on for quite some time. And with this heavy rain, as we saw, around an inch and a half to two inches per hour rates, it doesn't take much. Heavy so we'll be watching that. Also located on Interstate 80 between uh, Limestoneville and Nescapet. Uh, heavy rain on, on Route 80. On Route 80 near uh, Nescapet and, and Limestoneville. And Limestoneville. Okay, so. We are seeing the heavy rain in those areas as well, uh, too. So we're seeing not only the tornado threat, but also the heavy rain threat and the severe thunderstorm threat. Speaking of which, here's what we got going on in Northeast Pennsylvania, my friends. We're just going to keep going back and forth. That's all we're going to do with this here <laughs> until these things finally stop. But as we stop here with the, the timing, this is what we got in Susquehanna and Bradford County. We got the severe thunderstorm warnings there. We'll pan up so that way uh, we can actually see what's going on. They just updated that warning. So they just cropped a few places out with that one here. Uh, we'll time that out a little bit. And you can see they uh, just updated the tornado warning as well. So we got the tornado possible tag there in the Bradford and Susquehanna area. This is to the far northwestern corner of the county. We also have, it looks like, uh, another severe thunderstorm warning. That goes until 5 o'clock there in Bradford and Susquehanna County. This is more on the southern side of those areas. So we'll even zoom in here for you. Oop. We'll zoom in here a little bit for all of you and get an idea exactly what uh, we're seeing with the rain and the wind and see if we're going to be uh, not getting any more rotation here with that. And it looks like the computer does not want to cooperate. It's like I'm done with the storms. I get it. All right, so this is what we got going on, my friends. We got the uh, severe thunderstorm warning. You have the rotation. So here is a look at what we got going on. Still seeing some of that rotation right here uh, in Sullivan County. That's why they haven't dropped the tornado warning just yet. Because, like I said, sometimes these things, they look like they're about to die, and then they come right back. Uh, we call that cycling. And that, unfortunately, may be happening there. That's why they're like, mm, we're going to hold off a little bit here. So we'll see if they extend this. But you also can see we got some straight line winds, it looks like. Maybe a little bit of uh, broad rotation up there in Bradford County, north of Auburn. So Auburn, especially north side of you, you're about to get some of that uh, strong winds that looks like coming on through. And then we also have in Sullivan County here, again, that tornado warning continuing uh, for a little bit longer here. So we'll zoom in, center this here, so that way that pops up. We got the tornado warning continuing for that area here for a little bit longer. And as we zoom in, we'll get these uh, places to pop up here for everybody so we can see exactly what's going on and who needs to watch out. So North Branch, you still need to be paying attention to this as it's coming through. Lopez, this rotation is passing just to your east now uh, there along the highway, along 487. So Lopez, we're still watching the rotation for you. 
uh, just to your north and east. You want to still taking those tornado precautions. Just a reminder for everybody that is going to the lowest level, most interior room uh, where that you need to be. So as we take a look here, we'll bring up our little house. And you can see the green areas, so the closet, the hallway, the stairwell, as long as it's windowless. Bathroom, as long as it's windowless. Basement's obviously your best bet. I get it, not everybody has a basement. That is fine, you don't need to panic. Just go to the lowest level, most interior room. The idea is to avoid windows, doors, and outside walls. Get as close inside as you can. That's what you wanna do in these situations here when you have a tornado warning that's issued for you. And also, we'll just go, oh, just a reminder to everybody, everyone is under a tornado watch right now. That includes uh, the Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Hazleton area. We'll clear this out here. And you, just a reminder, like I said, uh, you're, everybody here is under the tornado watch, which means even though we don't necessarily have a tornado uh, occurring at the moment, Tornadoes will be possible with the conditions that we are seeing. That's why you're seeing a lot of the tornado possible at tags issued. So just know where your safe place is, whether that's a basement, an interior hallway, or you just want to be away from windows and be ready to act if a warning is issued for you. Now, if a warning is issued, time to take action. So that's the difference between the watches and the warnings. A lot of people like to use the cookie analogy. Watches is basically you're making the ingredients, you got them all out on the counter, they're in the mixing bowl. Uh, and that would be a cookie watch. A cookie warning is your timer is about to go off in the oven and it's time to eat cookies. So if that helps you remember that, but uh, that's an analogy you'll hear often. So we're still watching this rotation near Lopez. Uh, again, heading into from Sullivan County, it looks like, into uh, parts of the Leviton area uh, along Highway 87. But we got a little bit more rotation. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like that might be starting to get itself together again here so we'll zoom out from that one again you can see it in the wyoming uh counties wyoming county just a heads up for you this is crossing into your area soon so you want to make sure that you are paying attention uh with this one and we'll even put on that uh that cone the timing for all of you here to get as close as i can so if this was to continue with the rotation, North Branch around 516, it is currently 540, or, I'm sorry, 447. So you got about, uh, what, about a half hour before this moves into your area at this time. Uh, and then you can see Forks in there around 525. It does look like it's starting to move into a more rural area. So hopefully that, uh, you know, if it does do anything, we'll do it over a place where nobody is. But we'll still be watching it here as it continues uh, over the next however long it goes but that warning uh, goes until five o'clock so we'll see if they extend it but it does go for about another 10 minutes or so if they drop it and we have no more tornado warnings we will go back to regular programming immediately but right now we do have this warning that we need to be tracking and letting you all know about here uh, as we do have the potential for a tornado to occur uh, pretty imminently if it has not already uh, in the Sullivan County region heading into Wyoming County. All right, uh, we're, let's look at here, let's see if we got any reports that are coming in. We did have that one with the funnel cloud that was in Bradford County. That is not the same storm uh, here. In fact, uh, it's actually just behind these tools here. So we'll center this. So that was earlier in Bradford County. You had that report there. That was the funnel cloud report uh, that they were uh, talking about here. So we'll grab this, grab that. And we'll get this to pop up here, here in a second. So this is what they were talking about earlier. This was a storm that was earlier. So this was the initial tornado warning that we were dealing with in Bradford County an hour ago. And you can see the spotter was observing a wall cloud that uh, said there may have been a brief touchdown. They have not confirmed that yet, though. So we'll see uh, what happens. But at the very least, there was a rotating wall cloud here. So we are seeing the ingredients, unfortunately, uh, that warrant tornado warnings in our area, my friends. So we just need to be uh, cognizant of that and just be continuing to watch these as we go through the next several hours. Uh, everything, though, should move out by sunset. So if you're worried about overnight, don't be. You'll be able to go to bed worry-free. Uh, here, this will continue as we go into uh, probably 8 or 9 o'clock, I would say, at the latest with our area. So by the time our newscast occurs at 10 o'clock tonight, where we will review all this and, of course, cover any damage that does occur, um, storms will be gone. Or at least, at the very, very least, they're wrapping up. I will say that. They, they will be moving out at that point.
So here's a look at the radar again. This is in uh, Bradford County. We're looking at the Troy area. You got a little bit of rain coming through you here. We'll stop this loop again here. And uh, did they, they just update that? Uh, okay, so they issued an update to the severe thunderstorm warning uh, to one of them here that we are seeing many of. And as we look at the Northeast Pennsylvania view here, you can see, uh, actually they dropped the tornado possible tag there. That's, so you see how the colors are different? They dropped the tornado possible tag with that warning. So hopefully that means the rotation's a little bit less, but you can see a lot of heavy rain still coming through uh, just outside of Auburn, it looks like, there in Susquehanna County that we are continuing to watch. So we got the Auburn area, uh, Lawton area, Retta, this is going to be heading your way. Uh, they oh, they still have the tornado possible tag. I'm sorry. They, you know what they did? Considerable. And here's why. See the hail size? The hail size is the size of a golf ball. Once you get to golf ball size hail or 70 mile per hour winds, they upgrade it to the considerable tag. So that's why it changed the color there. But we still have the tornado possible tag uh, here, and, which actually makes sense because when you zoom in, you can see the rotation here. In fact, when we look at the velocity, it's probably going to be pretty evident with that as we look at your storm velocity here. A little messy, but you can see the rotation. Same thing up here uh, to the north of Snow Mills there, Snow Mill you get, um, 267. You can see the rotation. But also notice how it has straight line winds. So these are very strong straight line winds coming through. In fact, let's take a look at what we call uh, base velocity. So this is basically the same thing as if you were using a radar gun essentially. It's saying here's the rain, it's traveling at this speed, and this is what it's showing. And you can see we're seeing some bright colors in the green, still the same as before, towards the radar is green, away from it is red, and we're in Binghamton. So this is, uh, we're looking south, so green is heading towards, it's heading towards my feet, and red is heading towards the banner. So that is to give you an idea here on what we're looking at, but uh, we are seeing some of those gusty winds coming on through. Let's see if we can uh, maybe even get a measurement, but it's probably gonna grab the, the warning. So we'll just go outside here a little bit. So 18 miles per hour with the velocity. So that's, that's definitely not uh, close enough here. So that is, uh, that's too far away from it. Yes, John. Uh, an update here from Union County, Mike. Okay. Uh, limestone run at 15th Street. The uh, creek is out of its banks and roadways are unpassable per the police department. Okay, so they're saying that they are experienced, it's in Union County? in uh, Lewisburg. Lewisburg area that they uh, roadways are unpassable per the police department. Uh, multiple trees down in Union County. Weather station in East Buffalo Township showing 3.88 inches of rain. That is with a rainfall rate, folks, of 2.61 inches per hour. That is heavy rain. And then we also have it there in uh, Kelly Township as well showing just a little less than that, around two and a half inches of rainfall. So even though we're not necessarily seeing severe criteria in terms of wind gusts in tornadoes, they're heavy rain. You got heavy rain coming through. In fact, uh, let's take a look at that here a little bit. So we're gonna go back to the live radar and we're also going to go to now Union County to kind of discuss that here as we continue to track these cells. But I also want to show everyone why we're in uh, over programming right now as well, um, as many of you are probably wondering why we're still here. We are still tracking this tornado warning too that is in Sullivan County. That goes till five o'clock here, but it looks like uh, there's still a little bit of rotation here, but we haven't seen any issues, at least anything that's been reported to the area. And when we look at that one real quick here with the velocity uh, data, you can see now the rotation's actually outside the warning. So it's now starting to move into parts of Wyoming County here. So uh, I, I think they're probably gonna let that one expire. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if they extend it here for Wyoming County, but at least in Sullivan County, they are going to let that expire because it is starting to move out of that area. But you see the bright reds? That is uh, heavy, or I'm sorry, that is gusty winds Start still. So you're still seeing the gusty winds. So the tornado warning, we're still watching here. We haven't forgotten about you in Sullivan County, uh, but we also have a couple other storms that we want to mention. And speaking of which, let's go, like I said, to um, Un it was Union County, right, John? In Union County, where we saw that heavy rain, and like I said, even though you're not dealing with necessarily the severe weather, you're dealing with the heavy rain component, unfortunately, and you're seeing the ponding on the roadways during rush hour. So that is also not helping 
uh, with it obviously here. So we're going to zoom, go to central Pennsylvania, where we got so we're getting finally a little bit of a break here in Clinton County. Williamsport, heads up. You are going to see some heavy rain coming through your area. You can even see it starting to form to your west. But this is what we've been talking about. we got a lot of heavy rain moving through the Lewisburg and the Sealands Grove area. Uh, Bloomsburg, this is heading your way. You just heard us say that in uh, Sealands Grove that they had a little bit of the ponding on the roadways there, and some roads have now been impassable because of the heavy rain, because of all this red that you're seeing. So... Even though we're not necessarily dealing with uh, a tornado warning, keep in mind, even though as we go through the night, we're still going to be watching the heavy rain threat and potentially some uh, flash flood warnings. They haven't issued any yet, but we'll see. They have issued a couple flood advisories, uh, though, for some places up in Bradford County and Susquehanna County. So we're going to zoom in here. We'll take another look at what we got going on uh, for the Bloomsburg area here. Let's see if I can do this with my left hand here because I'm right-handed. So... All right, there we go. John Klingerman reporting heavy wind in Berwick. Okay, so John Klingerman, who's our engineer, he lives in Berwick, and he's saying that uh, they're getting some gusty winds. So they're on the leading edge, so that means Bloomsburg, you're getting the gusty winds too uh, coming through, So, which makes sense. This is why you have the severe thunderstorm warning component is the 60-mile-per-hour winds. So some very strong winds now moving through the Bloomsburg area, the Berwick area. Danville, you're getting a downpour right now. You're just south of Bloomsburg. Uh, if you know anyone in that area, just let them know they're about to get it in terms of the rain. They're about to get some heavy rain and some gusty winds coming through. I-80, uh, as you pass Bloomsburg's exit and you're heading west on I-80, you're going to run into some very heavy rain. Uh, so take it slow and, you know, don't be crazy on the roadways, my friends, because people are most likely slowing down very quickly as they encounter this. And this is going to, uh, again, go from the, probably just around Bloomsburg or the Berwick area and all the way to the west. So it's just give yourself a, a little bit more patience as you're traveling home if you are going on I-80 west this evening through Columbia County and out towards um, the State College area here. Tornado with warning it. expired. Okay, so they have expired the tornado warning. So master control, let's do a quick view here. We're going to just look over, make sure that we have nothing else because sometimes uh, things can get a little mixed up here. So they're going to let this tornado warning expire here in a couple minutes. Uh, unfortunately, let's, let's zoom in actually because they are switching offices here. They do switch offices. So I, let's just make sure that they're actually going to do it. State College was reporting it. Yes, yeah, State College. Uh, they're going to, now they're crossing into Wyoming. Well, that is uh, Binghamton. So they're going to they're switching offices. That's why that could potentially be what is happening here. So let's just double check the, re the velocity. As long as this velocity is not showing anything, then we'll be fine. Uh, it's pretty broad. So it's pretty broad. So I think, okay, uh, Master Control, I think we're okay. I think we are stay. We're stay? Stay. All right, we're going to stay here actually a little bit longer, folks. Once this drops off and then uh, once it drops off completely, we'll give it a few seconds for them to see if they do it in the Binghamton office. If they don't, then we'll drop off a programming. So just about another two or three minutes, my friends. In the meantime, let's go over everything because we had a lot happen in the last hour and a half. So we're zooming out here. We got to look over everything. You can see where we're seeing still that uh, severe thunderstorm warning in Susquehanna County as well as western or eastern Bradford County. We also have the severe thunderstorm warning there in Wyoming County. That's the storm that was tornado warned. So they're watching that one. We also have the Bloomsburg area here, and, and they just issued another severe thunderstorm warning, it looks like. So uh, let's take a look here real quick at that one, make sure we're not, and see what they got on this one. So a new severe thunderstorm warning was just issued uh, across the area. This one is now in Bradford and Susquehanna County, it looks like as well. Uh, they're actually extending it here. And the reason for this one is you can see the ta uh, color. It looks like it might be considerable. So they're still seeing now some uh, probably some strong winds. So let's uh, get this thing to actually go over it. So hail size now up to the size of golf ball. That's the 1.75. So now we have the considerable tag in Susquehanna County. That is now including Great Bend along I-81, New Milford. Uh, Hartford, you are fine. The trough there, you are fine. Uh, along Highway 11, as you go into New Milford, is kind of the boundary here, but we are seeing some large hail now starting to move into the Susquehanna out, uh, area. So let's actually take a quick look at that here, see what we got going on with the hail uh, coming through the area. And you can see that hail swath coming through, heading towards the Great Bend and New Milford area, Silver Lake, just to your south. 
and also looks like maybe a little bit just to the north of Auburn. So even though we're not seeing maybe necessarily tornado warnings right now or about to, uh, still got some strong winds, still got some hail, and we'll also be doing a Facebook Live here uh, after this a little bit just to kind of go over everything as well. But I do want to zoom out and go back to the whole area, kind of give everyone an idea of what's going on because we're also watching the large hail here in the Bloomsburg region. Heading into parts of Northumberland and Montour County, you can see those hail, that hail swath again uh, kind of moving in. So let's zoom in on this real quick. So in addition to the gusty winds, which our own John Klingerman reported, uh, Danville, you're probably getting a little bit of hail here popping up here very shortly, especially in the south side of town. Bloomsburg, this is going to be passing your way too, and then eventually into the Berwick uh, region there in Columbia County. Locust there, uh, heads up for you as well as these storms continue to move on through for you. Uh, Washingtonville, you, hail at least is going to be passing to your south. Uh, we'll just get a quick update here on the radar because we've been seeing, again, the heavy rain aspect in this area. It's been more of a heavy rain threat for the Sunbury, Danville, Lewisburg region than anything else here because we're seeing rainfall rates of two to three, in two to nearly three inches an hour. And when that happens, uh, it does not take much, my friends, for things to start uh, getting a little crazy. So Bloomsburg, you got the heavy rain moving in through downtown at the moment. East side of Bloomsburg, you're about to get that heavy rain moving through within the next couple of minutes. So uh, anyone between Bloomsburg and Berwick, time to go inside. Time to uh, bring anyone inside now. If you are in the Berwick area, uh, you may have a couple more minutes if you want to tie anything down lastly. But if you guys are in Columbia County with these storms coming through, I highly suggest that you end up uh, bringing in loose objects because we are seeing gusty winds and we are seeing a little bit of hail moving through that region. And then we'll do one more check of our entire area. Like I said, uh, Northeast Pennsylvania, you're kind of starting to see things move into your area, but it's starting to, uh, at least for central Pennsylvania, wind down. We are tracking the heavy rain though. Uh, moving through the region here but we do not have any tornado warnings so master control we are good to go here uh, whenever you guys are ready we can return the programming if another tornado warning is issued though uh, we will cut in immediately but until then guys hopefully the next time i see you is 10 o'clock at night stay safe out there this is fox 56 news breaking weather alert with your weather authority chief meteorologist mike susco we now join our regularly scheduled programming already in progress. But how? That don't matter. All that matters is you're going to pay. <gasps> in prison, they called me Botox because even though all the ladies want me, I will wreck your face. Sherry, I don't know if I like these. They're so short. No, that's the style, boo. I just don't know if I have the ankles for this. Yeah, those pants are no good for Latin people. They make you look like you're trying to run across a river. Well, I think you look great. You should only wear pants like